Yeah. This farm-raised salmon is actually this color, but they add color to it to make it look like wild salmon which it is nothing like. Farm-raised salmon is raised in underwater pens. It's fed GMO corn, GMO soy, poo, and medications to prevent overgrowth of bacterial infections because it's so unhealthy. All fish is going to accumulate some heavy metals, which is not a good thing, but wild salmon is a much better choice than any Atlantic salmon. All Atlantic salmon is gonna be farm-raised, and we know that these chemicals, PCBs, PVDEs, are endocrine disruptors. Yes, it's an animal food. Very importantly, when it says color added on salmon, this doesn't mean that they are adding red 40 into the salmon after it has grown to maturity. Color added is a label that is put on salmon that are fed astaxanthin within their fish feed. Farmed salmon is given their food, and in that food is astaxanthin. Wild salmon gets its astaxanthin from the food that it consumes in the wild as well, meaning the pigment that turns wild salmon pink and the pigment that turns farmed salmon pink is the exact same thing. Technically, if any salmon didn't consume any astaxanthin, it might turn out gray. But what is being provoked in this video is that that salmon was gray its entire life. And they injected the salmon with some sort of dye before they put it in the grocery store. Secondly, the mentioning of PCBs and heavy metals is insinuating that farmed salmon has more heavy metals, PCBs, and other toxins in its fish than wild-caught salmon. Luckily, we have papers clearly answering this question indicating that the amount of toxic equivalents, heavy metals, and PCBs are three times higher in wild salmon than in farmed salmon, because unfortunately our oceans are becoming more and more polluted. But very importantly, these are all well below the European Union's limits for specific contaminants in food, because compared to other fish due to their diet and their size, salmon are typically much lower in many toxins including heavy metals and plastics. But unlike what was said in this video, the evidence indicates that farmed salmon has lower concentrations of any of the molecules he mentioned than its wild counterparts. Videos like these essentially create unnecessary fear around farmed salmon, although there are likely poor fish farming practices, and those are the ones that end up on the internet. The fish farms that actually supply the large grocery stores such as Kroger, Walmart, Target, etc. have many practices put in place to ensure the safetiness and healthfulness of their fish. And there are multiple governing bodies that look over the aquaculture business and do routine inspections to make sure safe and healthy practices are being conducted. And I understand that farmed salmon doesn't feel natural, so people are looking for reasons to be upset at it and fearmonger it. However, essentially the only difference in farmed salmon versus wild salmon is differences in its macronutrient profiles, in which per serving, farmed salmon has more calories and more dietary fat which means it also has more omega-3 fats as well as omega-6 and saturated fats. Differences in micronutrients are essentially negligible, except for the small amount of vitamin C in farmed salmon because it is part of their fish feed. But videos like this which are creating fear around farmed salmon, based on claims that are unsupported and downright incorrect, are creating fear around foods in which no fear needs to be created.